let's go of the past whatever he has done we should let it go and then work with him again that's ambassadorial deals again so that he can get something to at least feed himself even if not for himself at least to get money to take care of his girls ella and bella and then kimberly so if you don't know the story of funny face now let me give you a little background story the video you watched earlier the lady um angrily insulting somebody yes is the baby mama of funny face that's vanessa nicole or nicole vanessa so late to um, 2020 during the lockdown then early 2021 funny face and his baby mama were all over the news yes they were all over the news they were making several headlines this comes after funny face accused his baby mama vanessa nicole of cheating on him whilst she was pregnant a whole lot of things i mean videos upon videos kept popping up videos of funny face insulting her videos of her insulting funny face videos of funny face and her being attacking each other with family members separating this the couple like the video you watched earlier so a whole lot went down his mental state i mean funny face his mental state was at risk at that moment he was depressed he even came out dissing certain people that helped him in life that's i'm talking about um imano adibayo father this dixon sorry bolare um bismarck the joke to date he's not he's he's not okay or oh, he's not friends with person mark the joke and um, don little a whole lot of people in the industry he called them names then fast forward to may of 2021 he was arrested by the ghana police after he threatened to end his life that's commit suicide and then kill his no kill his baby mama and then after commit suicide so ghana police had to arrest him detain him and then take him to a psychiatric hospital so that he can get checked out because whatever he was doing was too much the other days he posted himself with his music box a big one just playing music i mean shading the baby mama and a whole lot insulting people there are days where he posted himself with um with a gun yeah with the gun threatening people i mean his mental state at that point was not okay it wasn't okay so he was sent to a psychiatric hospital whereby he was being checked and stuff then um months later his baby mama granted an interview revealed all that funny face did to her after the interview she granted another one and this time she was saying um she doesn't mind she doesn't mind going back to funny face because after all they have three kids together yes the famous ella and bella and then kimberly she's also a little baby girl and she, according to the mama, she doesn't mind going back to funny face because they have three kids together and whatever had happened was in the past she had shared so many memories with funny face and she doesn't want that to go to waste besides according to her the kids need their father in their words but Ghanaians are like no 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 madam you are the one who needs funny face at this moment if the kids need their dad their dad can come and see them wherever they are but it seems with the interview and stuff that is going on you are the one that needs the man at the moment if you are lonely just say because funny face at that moment had nobody in his life he was struggling so if you are lonely just let him know he will come back because he still loves you so today that is 2024 we've we haven't heard from funny face since then since he was arrested taken to the psychiatric hospital yes we see videos and stuff of him on telly um he has acted certain movies and stuff but it's not going really well like at first i mean um cow and chicken was all over when he came everywhere you went everybody wanted to watch cow cow and chicken he had bought a new one um i've forgotten the name though and it's like it's not making waves like at first and it's like brands are not really don't really want to work with him because of his past because he was arrested there was a video where ghana police was even manhandling him because he refused to be arrested so brands don't want to work with him because you just came out of a psychiatric hospital why should we work with you 
Why should we work with you? So today, on his social media handles, he has posted certain touching words. And according to him, whatever he has, he has done, Ghanaians should forgive him, especially the brands, the corporate brands. They should forgive him and then work with him again because he has regretted it. He has really, really regretted it. And he's suffering. He has started picking himself up by working with, I mean, doing videos and stuff. But it seems some people want to sabotage him to um, brands that he was willing to work with. Brands that he was looking forward to sign an ambassadorial deals with. Some people, I mean, have a more fair trade and they are sabotaging him there. So he's begging with people not to do it because for years now, he hasn't seen his girls because he has no money to take care of them. And he can't go and see them empty-handed just like that. Especially his little girl, the Kimberly girl I'm talking about he hasn't seen the girl. The girl will turn three years this year and he hasn't set his eyes on her, which is very bad. Very, very bad because the kid hasn't seen his dad. The dad hasn't seen the kid and it's, it's kind of frustrating a little bit. So at this point, he's begging all those sabotaging him to stop because he also needs money. He also needs money and this is how he gets his money by being funny by i mean incorporating fun into any art that um a brand wants to send um, him to sell so under the comment section one one social media user was user was like funny face why don't you go back and then beg all those that helped you in life so that at least you can get back on your feet and funny face rep replied and according to him Adebayo and then Bolare have accepted him back, though they are not cool with him like at first. The way Adebayo was giving him car, giving him clothes, and I mean Bolare was giving him money, advice, and stuff. But Father Dixon sacked him the day he went to his office to beg, which is very normal because the things he said about Father Dixon, it's 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 it hurts. A man who has helped you for so many years, you just take your phone you just set the camera on you and then you you insult this man you insult him so according to funny face he went to beg uh, father dixon but the man sacked him and he claims well he understands it because it's very normal he feels father needs time to heal so he's just waiting for that moment and we also hope father dixon heals because the likes of adebayo and then Balare have forgiven him. We hope Father Dixon forgives him and then, you know, take him back under his wings and then you mentor him again, just like at first, so that he can stand on his feet again and then go and see his baby girls because I'm sure he misses them. And we don't want a situation where he will break down again. He will break down this time around and then mess up again because now he looks very good. He looks nice. I mean, the psychiatric hospital he went to has done him very, very good. So whatever be the case, funny face, I'm sure brands will start working with you because a lot of people are sharing it. We've seen brands sharing your post, reaching out to other brands to also work with you. So we hope for the best. <laughs>